everybody, so my name is David and today I'm going to be going to a local grocery store and looking at the oral hygiene aids at the oral hygiene section. And I'm going to be looking at the different types of oral hygiene aids and also seeing which one is best for you. So stay tuned. When finding a toothbrush, you generally want to get a soft bristle toothbrush because they are easier on your gums and are usually more comfortable. Like you see here, the toothbrushes are often labeled soft, medium, or hard on the top of the packaging, and medium and hard bristles can damage your gums and enamel, which is a no-no. So we're going to use this toothbrush today to show you how to properly brush your teeth. And as you guys can see, this um, specific brush has soft bristles, which is a type that we want. So first thing you want to do is then you want to angle the brushes at around 45 degree angle towards this gum line. Because this gum line is where a lot of the bacteria is kept. So what you want to do is go at a 45 degree angle like this and move in gentle circles right around the teeth and really try to get into that gum line and brush all that bacteria off. And don't forget, you wanna brush your teeth two times a day for two minutes each time. When it comes to floss, there are so many different types on the market. However, this store carries mostly waxed floss as it is the most common type of floss that people use. Waxed floss can slide easier and is generally easier to use than others. Another thing to consider is the flavor. There are various flavors such like mint and cinnamon and it, it is important to pick a flavor you like. If you like the flavor, the more likely you are you, to use it every day. Now I'm going to do a demo on how to floss your teeth properly. So the first thing that you do is you get a piece of string floss and you wrap it around your middle finger, just like this. And you're going to wrap it until you have maybe two, two and a half inches of string floss left so that you can hold it with your index finger and thumb. So now we're going to insert this floss in between two teeth, just like this, and we're going to go towards one of the teeth, okay? There's two teeth, so we're going to start with one first, and we're going to wrap the tooth with the string floss like a C shape. As you guys can see, the string floss is like a C shape around the tooth, so we're really wrapping around the tooth to remove all the bacteria that's on this side of the tooth. So what we're going to do is go all the way down and up and down, up, down, up, down with the C shape five times. Just like this. And once you're done with the right, this tooth, you're gonna straight go to the next tooth and you're gonna go up and down five times as well on this. And don't forget, you wanna floss one time every day at night before you brush your teeth. When picking the right toothpaste for you, it can be tricky as there are various kinds. There are toothpaste for whitening, for sensitivity, and for extra cavity prevention. However, you generally want to find a toothpaste that has an ADA seal on the box. The American Dental Association seal of acceptance is like having your dentist with you when you shop. When you see the ADA seal, you can be sure the product inside has been scientifically evaluated to be safe and effective. So as you can see, these toothpaste have an ADA seal on the outside box, which means that these are usually more recommended. When it comes to mouth rinses, there are two types in the store, antiseptic rinses and fluoride rinses. Antimicrobial, as known as antiseptic rinses, are used to reduce certain bacteria in the mouth that cause gum disease. On the other hand, fluoride rinses are used to help with cavity prevention. As you can see, the ADA seal is also present on mouth rinses as well. That's all, folks.